Hello, I'm Shain Vinayak Goswami and in this video we are going to discuss iterators and we would also take a look at some of the basic iterators provided with OpenMaya and using one of those iterators we would extend our command or plugin which we wrote in the previous chapter and using that iterator we would uh, print out the complete hierarchical structure of a scene. So let's get started. So the first thing is what is an iterator? Iterator is an object that enables the user to traverse a set of data. What does that mean? For example, we have sets of data, multiple sets connected to each other. In computer programming language, that means it's kind of a linked list. But if you don't understand what is linked list, linked list, don't worry about it. Consider it as a linked set of data. These are all data. So what would be an iterator? Iterator would be an object that would traverse or read this set of data one by one. So in the first step it would read this. In the second step it would read this. In the third step it would read this. Fourth step this and last step is this. So on users instruction it keep on moving to next set of data until this chain ends so now we understand what is iterator in the second step we would discuss some of the basic iterators available in open maya so first mit dag model iterator dag the iterator, I would hide this, that works on a DAG. So if you have a DAG, direct acyclic graph, or I would understand it in this way. This iterator would iterate this complete direct acyclic graph. So the first it would go here, here. And now there can be two ways of iterating it. First it might go here, here, and here. Or it might go here here, then here, then here, here, and here. So we would understand later how we would switch to these two different techniques, but that's the overall idea of MIT DAG, Model Iterator DAG. Second thing is MIT Dependency Graph. So this iterator will be used to iterate the dependency graph. So if we have the dependency graph nodes or the plugs connected, it would traverse this complete dependency graph. These, see, these are plugs these are nodes. So MIT dependency graph is used to iterate the dependency graphs. I would keep labeling them. So this is MIT DAG. This one is MIT 
dependency graph. Third is MID mesh edge. And this iterator is used to iterate the edges of a polygon surface. E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, dot, 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 dot. dot. So MIT mesh edge is used to iterate the edges of a polygon surface. M I T mesh edge. The fourth is M I T mesh vertex, and as the name states, it should be used to iterate or traverse the vertices of a mesh or of a polygon object v1 v2 v3 dash 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 which is m i t mesh vertex fifth type is mesh polygon so the name is not that clear but what this iterator would do, it would traverse the faces of a polygon mesh. One, two, three, four. MIT mesh polygon. The sixth type of iterator is MIT surface CV and this iterator works on the NURB surface and it works on the CVs of NURBs. So these are some of the basic iterators provided with OpenMaya. There are a number of more iterators and there is one more very important iterator which is called MIT Geo which is a directory iterator and we will discuss 